It's this morning around 8 o'clock that the organization's helicopter went to meet Alex Thompson. 25 minutes later, the Uguba skipper crossed the finishing line 80 days and 19 hours after having left Les Sables d'Olonne. A little over two and a half days behind François Gabar and Armel Leclerc, the Brit attains the third step of the podium. He was forced to abandon twice in his previous participations. This is my third Vendée Globe and I've experienced three times going that way. And this is my first going this way and I can tell you it feels great to be coming this way as well. <laughs> What did I feel? I, I, I felt very proud to be part of the race. You know, Francois has done an amazing job, and Armel. Uh, you know, but Francois just—he's uh, been incredible. You know, breaking the record, uh, the 24-hour record, breaking the, the overall record for the race. You know, he's done a fabulous job, and I feel really honoured to be here in third place. If he hadn't been bothered by energy problems for over two-thirds of the race, Alex Thompson would probably have passed under the 80 days mark. We won't forget his decision to change route a few days before arrival to make sure everything was all right for Jean-Pierre Dic and his keyless boat in a strong blast of wind. In the coming days, coming weeks, the arrivals of the eight competitors still at sea. For some, there's quite a way still. I'm passing off the Fernando de Norona Island, accompanied by dolphins. It's great. There's also a flying fish that must have fell on deck a while ago because it's dead. So next, the crossing of the equator tomorrow. The equator, Alessandro Di Benedetto is still 1,200 miles away from it. And as we can see, he isn't spared anything. It's a little over 40 knots. Stormy front, cold front. Could have found better for an Atlantic's ascent.